McMahon. Pat also has his own television show, his own radio show on KTAR, his television show every morning on KZ, uh, Channel 7 and Channel 13. Okay, I'm getting used to this. Uh, he's been a great um, friend of Hickman's Family Farms, and he is going to graciously read out of the Ant Mod storybook. So anybody familiar with the Wallace and Ladmo show, take, he's telling me to take a seat. <laughs> the introduction's getting longer than the story. <laughs> Sit down for crying out loud. Well, I'm telling you, the guy sells a couple of dozen eggs and all of a sudden he starts taking over the whole Easter thing. Because all the kids are saying, well, who is this geezer? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Some moms and dads and some grandmas and grandpas remember the Wallace and Redmo show. We were on every day and one of the characters read out of the Aunt Maud storybook. And Aunt Maud's attorney has said that I can actually read for her some of these stories. But guys, now listen. Your parents will already tell you these can be dangerous to your emotional health. <laughs> Aunt Maud was a very strange old lady. And she used to make Ladmo cry all the time because there were no happy endings here. But they were funny. So, Clint, if you don't mind being my lovely assistant. I don't. Would you like me to hold the microphone? Yes, please. Okay. Anywhere near my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he never really works this hard during the week. No. Okay, so Aunt Maud's storybook. And the reason we're doing this is the, the importance of reading because it's what I do every single day on television. I have to read stuff. And I have to do it instantly, and on radio, I, well, you know that, because you watch me every day, right? <laughs> so who is this close? Okay, this is the story. Thank you. This is the, this is the story that I picked out for this event called A Very Special Easter Egg. Once upon a time, Bobby and Betty wanted to paint Easter eggs. But there was only one egg in the house. Bobby said, we've only got this one egg, so let's make the best of it, because it's better than no Easter at all. So they spent hours painting this one egg really, really pretty in 12 different colors. When they were finished, Betty said, now let's go out and look for a box to make an Easter basket out of and put the egg in it. While they were gone, their Uncle Fred came home to fix himself some lunch. Oh, oh no! As he was eating, Bobby and Betty came back in, and they couldn't find their Easter egg. What egg, said Uncle Fred, as he finished his omelet. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the Aunt Maud story. Oh. <laughs> Fred ate it. How did that occur? Especially they don't make omelets out of park. You're, you're, you're losing. Some well, yeah, but that's the story of my life, Clint. Listen, all I can tell you is, I brought, I brought this for the one person that would most appreciate it because he never gave up his childhood, and his family will attest to that. Clint. Thank you very much for being my mic holder. This is yours. All right. Nice. Happy Easter, everybody. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. I don't see any kids that are.